hello. Oh, okay. Hi. Hello, 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 hello. Where are the girls? Okay, everyone, we'll give it a couple more minutes as people trickle in. We'll give it a couple more minutes as people trickle in. Trickling, trickling. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Come on in. Trickle in, trickle in. Everyone have a seat. Have a seat. Good morning, good morning. There's trickling, trickling. Good morning, good morning. Come on in. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning. Come on in, guys. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, have a seat. Come on in, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in, come on in. Okay, everyone, put away your phones. Put away your phones, put away your computers, put away your backup phones, take off your headphones. Shh. More people will trickle in, I'm sure. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a good weekend, okay? Um, this is the final week of classes, and I assume most of your classes will be focusing on your finals, okay? So this is an important week because after this week, you have a three-day weekend. There is no school on Monday. We have Memorial Day. And then you will have your finals. So that's it. Two more weeks, okay, here in school. So please let, you know, sit and let that kind of sink in, okay? Um, it is important. I've said this before, and I say it again. How you start things and how you end things are really important, okay? So, you know, these next two weeks is a good chance to uh, – Communicate with teachers, set yourself up well for the next year, set yourself up well for graduation. Um, it's a really important time to kind of just enter the summer with a clean heart, clean mind, clean conscience, okay, that you've done your best um, this school year. So take advantage of this week communicate with your teachers, um, ask for help, okay? That's an important thing to learn how to do. Ask for help if you need to, um, but an important time of the year, okay? This morning was supposed to go differently. We were supposed to have someone else here talking to you, but um, life happened, so we had to change it up, okay? Uh, today, Mr. Ahn was supposed to come up here and do this final morning assembly, and he had a lot of things prepared, but um, some happy things something happy happened yesterday and Mr. On had his baby. Mr. Shin, if you don't mind, we have his picture. We have his picture. Mr. Sh Mr. Sh that was going to be a little more climactic. Yeah, the baby! <laughs> He's so cute. Aww. So that was a happy surprise. Mr. Shin, uh, not Mr. Shin, Mr. On texted us last night and he said, I had the baby, I won't come in tomorrow. And I was like, no, <laughs> you were supposed to do the morning assembly. But anyway, it's okay. Um, so I will do my best. 
asked to do this morning assembly because it is important. Okay, so Mr. An um, was going to come up and he was going to talk about um, different, different chapters in life. And he was going to talk um, about how life is built on chapters, right? There are beginnings and there are endings. There are times um, when, you know, you start new things and then there are times when parts of your life end and you transition into new parts, okay? The reason why Mr. Ahn was going to come up and speak about that is because his chapter here at BIA, um, this was his last year at BIA, okay? And we wanted to give him this day to kind of talk about it because we were d discussing, okay, what's better for the students? You know, is it better, guys listening, shh, is it better, you know, to not say anything and go into the summer and then for you to start the school year, you know, next year introducing our new teacher who we have, um, or is it better to address the student body and let you guys have, you know, your goodbyes and be able to talk to him? So, you know, it was a discussion. It was a discussion on what, what is the better way to handle this. Um, and we, we came to the conclusion that it's better to communicate and it's better to give you the opportunity to talk to Mr. On, to see Mr. On, um, and to be able to connect with him um, before his next chapter begins, okay? So his his next chapter um, is taking him away from us. You know, he's been here for a very long time. He's a very integral person here at the school. He's offered so much that you guys probably aren't aware of, can never know. Um, and it's the same for all your teachers as well. You know, you see them for a short period of time during the day, um, and you see that work, but you don't see all the other work that goes into investing in all of you. Um, and Mr. Ron's a great example of that, the countless hours he puts in his classes. Um, but you know, sometimes we look at teachers as a part of a school building. You know, they're immovable, they're there. But reality is all your teachers also have lives that are moving and evolving, okay? And so his chapter, his next chapter is coming. So we wanted to address this. He will be back. He is coming back. Um, the, you know, the baby coming was uh, not part of my plans, but that's, you know, nature for you. Um, so that, you know, his new baby is definitely part of his next chapter, and we're excited excited for them, we're excited for their family, um, and we're excited for what's going to come for him. Um, we are also excited about our new teacher, okay, Mr. Seiya Miyazaki, okay, he's currently a teacher in Long Island, he teaches at a, a private school in Long Island, he will be moving here with his family, King, shh. he will be moving here um, with his family over the summer. Okay, he has his master's in education, um, and he has a long history of teaching and, you know, it, teaching math and engaging with math. So we're very excited for him to join us, okay? And this is an opportunity for the BIA family to grow, not shrink, because once you're part of the BIA family, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you are still part of the BIA family, okay? So when Mr. An comes back, you know, give him a huge congratulations. Um, he wanted to talk about Mr. Miyazaki and talk about his trust. They are gonna be working over the summer together so that Mr. Miyazaki understands the BIA math and how it's taught. Um, of course, he'll come with something new. That's how it is with different people. Um, but Mr. An is gonna work really closely with him to kind of pass the baton as it will, okay? But luckily, we won't, and luckily we were able to communicate with you all. So you're not surprised in this, the fall, you're able to kind of connect with Mr. An, okay? And be able to talk to him, be able to ask your questions, congratulate him, and spend these next two weeks, um, you know, just making sure that you, you're able to um, close your chapter and move on as well, okay? So we wanna just m make sure that we have addressed this, but it's also very, metaphorical because you know especially for our seniors your chapter is about to close as well and your new new chapter is going to start so you know this is these next two weeks um, are important for you to close this chapter well um, so that you can start the next chapter you don't want anything lingering okay when you end something and it starts something you don't want some any yucky stuff lingering into your new chapter so it's a good time to clear the air finish well, 
so you can open your next chapter with pride. Okay, everyone? So I hope you all have a wonderful time this week. Ms. Dr. Swartz, do you have any last minute? No, I did not. I wasn't going to. Yes, the schedule. Yes. Okay, so one more. So this is going to be round two of the schedule, okay? So we'll probably get you three and four throughout the week. Round two of the schedule. This Friday, we are going to have a, um, we'll have a program in the morning, okay? It is a school day. Everyone expected to come. There is a student council uh, picnic after, in the afternoon. Student council, I've not seen a proposal, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, but that's happening this Friday. Hold on. Then you have a three-day weekend, okay? So Monday, there is no school. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, you have your finals. So there are two finals per day. Please clarify with your teachers what day is your final. If you only have one final that day, please only come for that final, okay? Check in with the office, however. If you're late, you're coming to your second the second final, just check in with the office, say, I'm here for my final. If you're, come if you're leaving early, you finished your final, check in with the office and say, I'm done, I'm leaving early, I finished my final, okay? If you have two finals that day, it, the in-between time is study time. It is not a time to frolic around, okay? We don't want any frolicking, okay? So please, we will set up a study room. You can go, you can quietly study between your two classes, okay? We also ask that no one hang around after the final, okay? Please make sure to do your final and then leave. Each of those days, the school will close at 12 unless there are extenuating circumstances. So we will understand the extenuating circumstances, but for the general school, the school will close down at 12, okay? So that is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday evening, we will have an award ceremony here in Spurgeon Hall, okay? Dr. Swartz has sent out that announcement. It'll go out today. So your parents will get an announcement about the award ceremony here Thursday night, okay? Friday, of the day of commencement, I have spoken and invited some um, other people to come to and participate fully in that day. Seniors, you will need to be here at 9 o'clock that morning because we will go through a run through of graduation we will practice the sooner everyone gets on the same page the sooner you get to leave but the chunk of time we've set aside for that is 9 to 12 okay so seniors the day of graduation you must be here 9 to 12 so we can do a couple of run throughs tom uh is that in uniform i don't think no, I don't think so. Yeah, it's okay. Not in uniform. Okay. Um, so 9 to 12, you will be down here. We're going to run through graduation a few times. Then all our helpers who I've spoken to, you guys will meet us in here at 3 o'clock that day, and we will walk over to the graduation area to set up. We will be setting up the graduation area. If you are a helper, I've already spoken to you. You know who you are. Okay. Then um, the seniors, you must, you must, you must be over at the student center at 5 o'clock the day of graduation. You must, okay? Because that's where we're making sure everyone looks good, and then we are going to practice in that venue for graduation. So you must be there at 5 o'clock. 6.30, the doors to graduation will open. Okay, so anyone else that wants to come and see graduation, 6.30 you can start going over. At 7 o'clock sharp, we are going to start the program. The program will go, and then we'll have a little reception, okay, after, and then the reception will end at 9 o'clock, okay? Does anyone have any questions about the schedule? Okay, ask your teachers. Your teachers all know what's going on. Adam. This Friday is Casual Friday. It is Casual. Well, T-shirt and Jeans Day, Casual Friday, yes. Okay? Um, dorm students, you need to be packing. You need to be donating. You need to be throwing away. Okay? So make sure all of that. Mishima will be around as well. Okay? 
Any other announcements? Yes. Yes. For, for the, okay, so please, if you are going to take your textbook home to study, you must return your textbook right after the final. So bring your textbooks to the finals, okay? And then you will give your textbooks back to your teachers. During finals, you are expected to be in uniform. During finals, you're expected to be in uniform, okay? Anyone have any questions? Yes. The quarter ends officially this Friday. Okay. Okay. Yes. So activity periods will still yes, activity periods will still happen this week. Okay. Okay, guys. Have a good week. We'll see you around. Bye-bye.